So on the other hand, you must have seen that game in Johannesburg when Indian pacers picked all the wickets away from home for the first time, and now looking back after three years with this Test match. There's obviously been, you know, that the depth, which is, of, uh, you know, in form of uh, someone like a Mohammad Siraj, who has gelled in pretty nicely, and you know, picked eight wickets in this test, five in that Gabba spell, and now they have the backup options as well. How scary must it have been for England, even though they had a Jimmy Anderson, even though Mark Wood was bowling his heart out? The strategies were obviously. Kind of the debates that have been going on that they should have bowled more on the stumps rather than those beaming bounces, but it must have been really daunting for them at that point to see the kind of damage that this Indian bowling attack did in 51.5 overs. They only need 51.5; they didn't need those 60 overs to knock them out. Yes, I was in Johannesburg during that Test match. Also, I was in. I followed the South Africa's home tour of India. When South Africa came to India, yeah. when yeah. after the Ranchi Test match, I think there was a press conference where South African captain admitted that, that the Indians intimidated intimidated them with pace on home soil on spin friendly wickets. So you can imagine. I mean, I was talking about the same game where Umesh Yadav hit for like ten ball thirty three or something like that. But I mean, Indians Indian pace bowling base bowlers are intimidating South African batsmen on Indian pitches with pace and bounce. They are hitting the batsmen on their helmet and all. So and the South Africans are admitting it. So I mean, more than Johannesburg, I think the I think the I think India's home series against South Africa was more interesting. I mean, con- considering the fact that these are not exactly pace friendly wickets. Where in where in South Africa we had that. Cape Town wicket, which was very much pace friendly. Johannesburg, of course, that was a some sort of a diabolical pitch. I should say that. <laughs>